Hey, it's Tim here. Today, we're gonna show you how to build a line chart in just under two minutes. We're using the same life expectancy data I used for the histogram video. And this time around, we're gonna just look at the simple way to create a line chart. For this one, I'm gonna drag the year value. Notice that it's green. We'll come back to that a little later. We'll put it on columns. And then we're just gonna drag any of these other measures and put it on rows. And you'll see Tableau draws a line chart. It's that simple. But so many people fight with this chart type because they don't understand the difference between blue and green fill fields in Tableau, essentially discrete and continuous fields. You see, at the moment, the year field is green. But if I remove that field and then I go here to the year value and I make it discrete, you see it turns blue. And now when I drag it onto columns, Tableau draws a bar chart. And this is fundamental because if you allow Tableau to decide what chart types it's going to build for you, it will always make this distinction because it perceives discrete data as best displayed using a bar chart. How do you override that? Well, here in the marks pane, you can see you actually have an automatic setting. This is where Tableau is deriving its sort of automated chart selection for you. If you go ahead and manually select line, the line chart comes back. But it looks a bit different because at the bottom, instead of having an axis, you have the individual discrete years. If I then go back, go ahead, make this continuous again, clear the sheet by clicking this button at the top and draw that again with columns at the top. And uh, let's this time take adult mortality. You'll see at the bottom, we get a range. So that is a line chart. And hopefully I've also cleared up the biggest confusion around why Tableau behaves the way it does when you're trying to build a line chart inside a Tableau. If you wanna add a little bit of flair, you can always add context to this as well. For example, if I take the countries, I can put it on color and you can see <laughs> this gets super noisy. So how can you make one country stand out compared to the others? Well, here's a little trick you could do. You can go ahead and create something called a set. Let's go ahead and go here, select set. When we do that, we can essentially pick out one country and select okay. And then when we do that, that country set is essentially remember that one value. So if we wanna look at Afghanistan stand versus all the other countries instead of country what we can do is we can go ahead and put country on color and this is a bit of an unfair comparison because if you notice tableau is aggregating the adult mortality values what we actually want to do is look at the average so let's go ahead select average and now you can see that in blue we've got afghanistan and all the other countries um, in gray but it's calculating the average for those countries. In, 20, in 2002, there must have been an anomaly where there was no data collected. But as you can see, both charts are trending downwards, but Afghanistan has a much higher adult mortality rate compared to all the other countries in the world. That's my time up. Hopefully you found this video valuable and I'll catch you in the next video. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps the channel and I'll catch you soon.